Yeah. So it was exciting. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And so now it's good to be back. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. Okay. So today we're gonna practice the joints and glands. And uh, there's an expression in Sanskrit, uh, stira sukham asanam, means a steady and sweet seat or asana or position. So without, uh, without excessive effort, effortless effort. Stira sukham asanam, prayatna shaitili yananta, so that you can contemplate infinity. <laughs> so you need a, a sweet, steady seat so that you have the experience of, of infinity and eternity. Prayatna shaitili yananta tatwa danda nabahi gataha, which means that all duality dissolves and we see the oneness to everything, the uni unity of it. And we realize that it's really kind of a, uh, an illusion, the black and white, that one doesn't exist with it without the other, that one becomes defined by the existence of the other. So it's not as if they're separate things. And so our practice of yoga is to unify, to yoga together, our experience and so the other word we can use for experience is awareness, conscious awareness of being aware. And that word is pradhyam. Pradhyam. And uh, so we can say stula, which means gross or the physical body. Sharira, which means body. Stula sharira pradhya. It's a way in Sanskrit to refer to the awareness, the wisdom the wise awareness that your body is this vessel of light, that connection with the infinite source of light. So it's, it's pretty exciting. We go very far in these practices. And uh, I'd like to begin with the instruction that one of the grand masters in the Himalayan yoga tradition, Swami Rama, would often begin every session with a reminder to sit tall with the head, the neck, and the trunk as straight as possible, that the first practice is also the last practice, to experience the breath, the awareness of the breath, the pranja of the breath as it flows naturally and normally in and out through the nostrils, to feel the presence of the breath in the physical body, the stula sharira. And the contemplate the light energy, the prana that is in the breath and filling the physical body with its energy breathing naturally and normally quietly and I always chant the invocation at the beginning of each class which acknowledges the original mind children the Prajapatis, Manasaputras, that exist as beings of light in the original golden womb, the Hiranya Garbha. One day 
Practices, letting the breath initiate the movements. So we start with the head and neck movements. So bring that light of the breath, the awareness of the breath, into the head and the neck and the face region. Let the arms just dangle beside you. And with your next exhalation, let your chin fold in towards your chest. Let your face relax, your spine can round, just like you're rolling up into a ball. And as you inhale, let the spine lengthen as the breath fills the torso, heart, neck, region of the face, the chin lift, maybe the shoulder blades go onto the back. And the wave of the breath initiates the movement. So as you're exhaling, you're rolling in, as you're inhaling, you're lengthening, opening up with your own breath movements, breathing through your nose, letting the breath really fill your entire physical body, the entire stula sharira, from top to toe, relaxing, effortless, and finally, come back to your neutral position. Your arms are still dangling. Your eyes can be open or closed. Just take a couple of breaths here. Let the breath relax you. And now we continue with exercise number two. As you exhale, let your right ear descend towards your right shoulder. You can let the spine fold over a little to that side. Maybe your opposite shoulder can move onto the back a little. The inhalation straightens you out, lifting you up, straightening you out. The exhalation takes your opposite ear, in this case the left ear, down towards your left shoulder, opening the right side of the neck, spine can curve over, the inhalation straightens you up, and you continue as you exhale to lower one ear towards the shoulder, maybe you let the spine also curve, the inhalation is lifting you back to your neutral position, and just like a wave, you let the ear comes down towards the shoulder on the exhalation, doing one side and then the other. The breath is quiet and smooth. The mind is focused on the feeling sense of the breath in the body. And eventually, an inhalation brings you back to your center position. You pause for a moment, eyes closed, just to breathe. And then you continue with exercise number three. As you exhale, your head will rotate towards your right shoulder with a minimum amount of effort, your inhalation will take you back to center. Let your exhalation take your chin towards your left shoulder, the opposite shoulder, wherever you are. And your inhalations bring you back to front and center. 
Continue this way, exhaling, feeling the relaxation response. Inhaling, feeling the activation of the inhalation. The exhalation relaxes as you twist, rotate your head. Like a gentle wave, the breath is flowing in and out of the body. Breathing through the nose, moving at your own speed. And eventually, an inhalation will bring you back to center and pause for a moment. You can now place your hands on your legs if they've been dangling. Again, just focus your awareness on the feeling of the breath. And now we move into the turtling exercise. So our head and our neck will come out towards me like a turtle out of the shell. As you inhale, bring the air in through the nostrils. And as you exhale, the air out of the nostrils, let the back of the skull move towards the wall behind you and the chin tuck in. The movement transitions easily with your breath, the inhalation. You draw the breath in through the nostrils, and the face comes forward. As the breath ex exits the nostrils, the skull comes back. Now the center of your awareness as you breathe can be in your navel region. Even though the breath is felt to be moving in and out of the nostrils, if we can begin to really feel that connection with the breath in the solar plexus, in the third chakra area, the navel region, then we're really getting the full benefit of the practices. And eventually, let a inhalation just bring you back to your neutral position, make sure Scan through your body. Use the light of the breath to shine into all of the cells of the body. Wash them. And now bring the awareness to the shoulders and the arms and the hands. Let them dangle beside you and we'll now move into exercise number five, which combines all of these movements for the head and the neck. So be full rotations of the head, neck, and possibly the spine. So as an exhalation comes upon you, let your chin descend, your face come forward, your shoulders, let your spine round. And as you begin to inhale, sweep your chin towards your right shoulder and begin to sit up and lengthen, let the breath lengthen your spine as your chin and your face come up to the ceiling and slide over the midline to the left, exhaling your face and your chin come down towards your left shoulder. You can begin to roll your spine in as your chin slides across your chest. The inhalation takes you up the right hand side. If your eyes are closed, you can really let your body move with the rhythm of your breath without really worrying what it looks like, how it's supposed to be. Just feel into these movements and do it one more time, making a full revolution in that direction. And when you finish your next exhalation and you're rounded in, your spine is rounded in, reverse the direction. So now as you inhale, your chin will come up towards your left shoulder. 
Your spine unfurls, lengthens your face and your chin turn upwards. And transition over to the exhalation going down on the right hand side and this rolling in of the spine and the head and the neck. All of the movements are effortless as much as possible and are felt to be controlled and initiated by your breath, letting your breath guide the speed and the length of the movements. And of course, at any point, you're welcome to just pause and catch your breath. But when you've done as many revolutions as you wish, when you finish your exhalation and you're bowed in, just simply stay bowed in. Let your head hang, let your forehead soften, your eyes and your cheeks and your mouth and your lips. Arms are hanging. Breath is natural and place your hands on your knees or your thighs and wait for an inhalation and let that inhalation rise you up. Feeling the origin of the breath in the solar plexus or in the navel region. And give yourself a chance to equilibrize. Let's come back to an equilibrium. Now I invite you to open your eyes if they're closed and we'll do the Simhasana practice. So here we feel the presence of the floor with our feet, spread our toes, really ground our feet, our soles and our toes. And then the awareness of our palms on our knees, spreading our fingers. So we have those soles of the feet, those two places, the two hands against the two knees, that's making six spots. And then we draw the heart through, that's a seventh spot. And then the base of our throat is an eighth spot of awareness. And breathe. Really feel the spine lengthening energetically. And now with lion pose, we open the mouth, stick out the tongue, open the eyes, through the tops of the eyes. <laughs> And there's that exhalation, which pitches you forward from your hips. And once you come down, your belly's resting on your thighs, your face is relaxed, no effort or minimal effort. The feeling of effortlessness. You wait for your inhalation and you come back up slowly. So one of the keys to these 